I want to thank the following for their help with this tutorial. First of all, Bal, Hyro GX Pilot, Mukor, and Skaki. I had a request for arches. So I'm going to show you how to make simple id style arches. Nothing too complicated. This certainly isn't the most elegant or fancy way to do arches, but it works. And you can take this method and scale it up or down depending on what your needs are. And since I'm such a good sport, I will even link some other tutorials with alternative methods down below. You can choose which way you want to do it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is if the arches are going to be surrounding a door, you want to make your doors. And then I usually make a header, what I call a header up here, and I leave a gap. And in this case, it's going to be 16 units. It just depends on the size that you're working with. So first I'm going to make a uh, kind of rectangular brush and I want to make it 16 units on uh, these two sides. Now it's 32 because of the depth. Now your depth might be more or less. We're going to make that first one there and then I'm going to make three copies of it. So now we have four slices. Now we're on grid 16 right now. We're going to drop down to grid two. So these three are highlighted. I'm going to hit E for edge mode and I'm going to drag these vertices down by holding down Alt and selecting them. And you kind of do it by eye and you just want to contour around the shape of the door. All right, so that part's finished. We're going to stay to grid two. We're going to select all of them again. We're going to hit V for vertex and I'm going to lasso these first two vertices, actually the second set. And now we're going to merge all of these verts and I'm just using the arrow left key. And as it goes along, it's going to merge those together. And now what, what was once eight verts are now two vertices. And there's an important reason we do that. And I'll show you in a minute. So the next step, we'll highlight all these again, control D to duplicate, control F to flip. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys to nudge this back into position. And it's important to note that the texture lock has been off this whole time. I forgot to mention that. It's no big deal if you forgot to turn it on. You can always fix it. So now we've got our arches and there's one last little thing you can do. Take that right here. This can just be one piece. So I'm going to hit control and J to merge. And that's under CSG convex merge, just so you know. We haven't covered that in any of the other tutorials and we're going to get to that later, but that's one more step you can do. All right, so let's take a look at why those need to be triangles up in those corners. I'm going to bring down the console and I'm going to type in R show tries two. What you're seeing is how the BSP breaks up the geometry into triangles. Now I have another version of this on the other side that has squares and you can see that BSP is causing a lot more triangles to be rendered as opposed to over on this side where I merged the vertices and made the triangles. Some people might say, well, you don't really need to do that. It's no big deal. It is a big deal because these add up. If you have a bunch of doors or arches in your map, all these triangles will add up and affect performance in the long run. So this is the more efficient way of doing it. Quite often when I'm making these videos, I'm editing them and I realize, oh, I made a mistake. Well, this isn't exactly a mistake, but it's something I need to fix. So first of all, I'm going to turn off grid by hitting zero. Second of all, I'm going to go over here and I'm turn off show edges. My texture alignment up here is all messed up. And same with here. Uh, these are not really aligned correctly. I'm going to hold down shift and click on this face and this just selects the face. And then this is the problem area. So I'm going to hold down alt and click on this and that's going to continue this texture along this way. So now we don't have that weird funkiness over here, but it is kind of continuing here. So let's fix that one and fix that one. Also, let's fix these. Now, if you notice, there's a brick here and there is an edge here, but this, none of this is correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this texture by hitting this little arrow button here. This face is already uh, selected. So I'm going to alt click here. And then as you can see, the texture gets a little better. Do the same thing there, there. So there you go. I got it kind of close. It's better than it was. It's a little cleaner. So you can use this method for larger arches. And um, for example, this one has six sections because the texture is much larger. But again, I made these triangular shapes here by merging the vertices after the fact.
So it seems like a lot of steps, but I'll be honest with you, this is a pretty simple way of doing this. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Good luck with those arches.